afternoon everybody just thought i'd do a quick video covering something that i've seen asked on arbor's site and various other forms many times 576 xp what's the difference between auto-tune and non-auto-tune um i've seen guys asking what do you need to make a non-auto-tune saw an auto-tune well the cheapest way to do it find a crush damaged or or a saw that needs a top end or a bottom end even Find a 576 like that, a parts saw, you know. Um, to buy these parts factory new would probably cost too much money. I don't know. I've never priced them out. Um, what I did is I, I have several parts saws here. Anyways, what do you need? You need a generator. Generator bolts behind the flywheel to these two bosses. So you pull the flywheel off, you bolt this generator up. You have one extra wire. That's it. This red wire goes through the hole here, up under. That red wire sends a signal to this module. Okay, your yellow wire plugs in here, and you have one extra ground wire which goes to the normal ground location. So that's it. You bolt your carb up this. Um, here's the coil that I've been used. Just in case it's different from yours, this is a limited coil. 13.3 it says on it, number 510.11.58.02. Um, this works auto-tune and non-auto-tune. So that's it. That's all you need. You get a wrecked saw, you pull the parts off, bolt them to yours, and you're in business. Um, I'd like to cover one more thing. Non-auto-tune and auto-tune carbs are slightly different. Non-auto-tune has an extra port here, which the auto-tune does not. And one other thing. My saw was having lean issues. And that was caused, let me get the light here. That was caused, there's a little, there's a little port right here that's plugged with a brass plug. That port seals off the high circuit. When I pulled this plate off, just under a hunch, on a hunch, I pulled this plate off. This plug was leaking fuel. This is a brand new Zama carb. Um, it's like a $160 carburetor. Um, I've had bad luck with Zama carbs lately. This one is no exception. That plug was leaking from the factory, causing air to get into my high circuit. And when you did a big cut with this saw, after it got warm, it would lean out like terribly. I was having all kinds of issues. I sealed that with some seal all. This saw ran like a million bucks. So if you have a EL50 non-auto-tune 576 that's leaning out on you and you can't figure it out. And I mean, I did everything you could do to this saw to fix it. No amount of vac or pressure testing would find anything. Pull that plate off and seal that plug up. There is no plug on the non-auto-tune version. That is the other difference. Otherwise, these two carbs are identical. The diaphragms are different. The diaphragm in this carb has two extra holes in it that sends a pulse, I'm guessing, to this module. So a carb, uh, a carb kit for an EL50 will not fit. This is a EL40, I believe. That's an EL40. Will not work in this. If you put it in, this thing will not run properly. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Uh, trial by fire sometimes you, you you throw parts together and sometimes they don't work well i didn't realize there's two extra holes so anyways if uh, if you have any questions or comments about 576 xp um leave leave a comment underneath i'm curious if anybody else has had running issues with these saws mainly a lean condition that you just can't find um yeah i'd be curious to hear anyways have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Take her easy.